Okay. Good. Oh, let me shoot this off into the distance. Oh, that did not work. <laughs> Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. Unless you're new, then hello, my name's Tori. Today's video is going to be a little bit interesting. So this is actually two videos put together. So the way this video is going to work is we are going to go back to January of 2021 and I'm going to show you all the items that I got for 2020's Black Friday slash Christmassy types of sales. And then I'm going to show you guys all the stuff that I've gotten over the last nine months. So there are 16 items in the first haul and 18 items in the second. So that means there are 34 items in this video. So it is going to be a long one. So go grab your snacks now, you're gonna need them. Let's go ahead and just get into the video. If you see my cat just running around in the background, like that. He's a little hyper right now. The first thing I got was this vampire teddy lunchbox. Self-explanatory. <laughs> it is also pretty big on the inside, so I could definitely fit like sandwiches, snacks, lunchables in here. So I did get this from Hot Topic. It was like $20 on their website. I just think it's pretty cute and I kind of need a lunchbox, although I am not in school anymore. My boyfriend and I do like to go hiking, so I can definitely use this for hiking or for like picnics or for like road trips. The next thing I got from Hot Topic was actually a mask. This was expensive. It just says baby girl on it. I thought it was cute. I accidentally ended up buying two of them. So I keep one at the front door. So I really wanted to get a mask from Hot Topic just to see the quality and also, you know, I thought it was pretty cute. So personally, I am not a huge fan of this mask. I think it's just too big for my face. However, this was $13, which is way too expensive. I just think that this was a little bit expensive, especially compared to the other things like I could get this and this should not be almost as expensive as a lunchbox or almost as expensive as like the shirts there so I just wish that this was a little bit cheaper so the next thing I got is from box lunch and it is a barrette it's a little hat I have never worn one of these hats before however look how cute it is so this hat was around $25. I did get it on sale yet again. It has Jack's little like bow tie on it and I just think it's so cute. So I did get this hat from Box Lunch. So I just wanted to try it out because I've never worn this type of hat before and it's definitely so cute. I don't, I think it fits my head shape. I don't know. Let me know if you think this actually fits my head shape or if it just makes my head look weird. But I think it's super cute. The next thing is also from Box Lunch and it is my Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck. I like tarot cards. I think they're very interesting. So when I saw that there was a Nightmare Before Christmas tarot card deck, I definitely wanted it. This deck was $25, which is a little expensive, but for tarot decks, it's not that bad. Like, look how cute these cards are. It's Santa. These cards are so cute. So if you watched the Giving Myself a Spa Day round two, you would see these tarot cards used in it. The next item is from Killstar, and it is this moon tin. This ended up being like $3. It's pretty cute. I'm gonna leave it on my altar to kind of like, you know, put things into, maybe put some like little pieces of paper in there. And I could also use it to charge my crystals. So the next thing I got, which is also from Killstar, is this Night Creature Hair Clip. It is a little bat, and you just, you know, pretty self-explanatory. I just thought it'd be cute. So these were $7 each, which is a little expensive for a hair clip. However, if it doesn't break, I'm okay with it. <laughs> like if it just stays like this forever, I'm pretty okay with it. They're just so cute, like little wings. And then the last thing that I got from Box Lunch were some earrings. So I had my ears pierced years ago and I just started wearing earrings again. I just really wanted to wear earrings and make sure that my ear holes were open and I didn't have to re-pierce them again. Also, I have just started watching Sailor Moon. I have never seen it before. So when I saw these earrings, I thought they were super cute. So I got the Black Lady earring set. So I am wearing one of the pairs right now. They're just little like crescent moons. These are the other earrings that come with it. These ones are a little bit tangled and I can't really fix them. So I'm just gonna have to uh, hope that I could untangle them when I go to put them on. But it comes with two pairs of dangly earrings, these two, 
and then two pairs of like more stud earrings which are these two and then it comes with some like ear cuffs so you could put it at the very top of your ear so you don't even have to pierce them so I did also get these on sale for like 30% off but they were $17 so those are all of the non wearables slash wearables that are super easy to wear that you barely have to change anything to put on so the next little section are t-shirts so I have three different t-shirts to show you guys so I am going to go ahead and move you back so I can stand up because right now I'm like weirdly kneeling okay so oh wait I need my notebook you guys have definitely seen this shirt before this is one of the first shirts I got off technically one of the first shirts but you know one of the first shirts in this little like haul but this is one of the first shirts I got from Hot Topic I love Beetlejuice like I'm huge fan so anything <laughs> that is striped I love it you're gonna see another thing that's striped that like weirdly goes with this but they look weird together <laughs> this was the first shirt it is $27 or it was $27 I did still get it on sale this is listed as like a crop top however this fits almost like a normal shirt to me it goes down to my hips I have a really short torso so maybe this fits more like a crop top on people with normal size torsos but for me it kind of just fits like a normal t-shirt however I love this shirt this is like one of my my favorite shirts to wear I wear it way too often I think I filmed like four videos in a row with it on and I didn't even mean to do that <laughs> it's just I love this shirt a lot I had to take a quick little break but the Sun decided to show up which is great but now I'm very <sighs> So I'm gonna go ahead and change it to the next shirt. This is the next shirt that I got. Even though I mainly wear black and white, I still really like to wear things that kind of incorporate the rainbow with it. This shirt, I thought it was super cute. Plus, I also really like butterflies and I have fabric that kind of matches this that I was going to, you know, make into like a little scrunchie or something to wear alongside with the shirt. It is kind of, it's very similar to the last shirt. However, it's not like a tie shirt. I still really like it. I think it fits me pretty well. It's also super soft and comfortable this shirt was also $27 on the website however yet again I did get it on sale I feel like I need to say that and like almost justify spending money on clothes but I, I need to stop doing that because at the end of the day it is my money and I'm allowed to buy clothes if I want to buy it um, I'm pretty sure I got this one on a Black Friday sale so it was a lot cheaper and now it's time for the last shirt that I got the last shirt that I got is this pumpkin attack trick-or-treat one I just really like the colors on this and I also just liked how it was gray this shirt was $23 on their website however I am pretty sure that this shirt ended up being around $10 which, you know, for a Hot Topic shirt, pretty good. Yeah, I just really liked it. It's super comfortable. So that is it for all of these shirts. So the next thing I'm going to show you are the pants that I did get. So I do have to change to kind of make this outfit look a little bit better. I went ahead and changed. So I got this skirt from Hot Topic. I did get it on a Black Friday sale. So I believe it was like 30% off. It was listed at $37 on the website, which is expensive for a skirt. There's also no way that I'm going to be able to show you the skirt and talk about it at the same time because I am too tall for this it is a maxi skirt so it does go all the way down I have really long legs so I wanted to try a maxi skirt because I thought it would look really cute however I don't know if I'm a huge fan so I don't really tend to wear very long skirts I just like short ones because it kind of make my legs look really long like it looks cute like the actual skirt is really cute and it does have pockets maybe since I'm not used to seeing myself in skirts like this it is just something that I have to get used to. So, look at him. Thomas. Thomas Dabransky. Are you joking? <laughs> Like, are you joking me, Thomas? You're so cute. So I also did get some leggings from Hot Topic. However, I can't find them anywhere in my house. So if I do find them, I'll include some video of me trying them on. If I can't find them, I guess I'll try to find some pictures of me having it on. But I just don't know where they went. They are the red and black tie-dye shredded leggings. They were 25 ish dollars on their website. I just thought they were cute. That end of explanation I needed some new leggings because my body's changing so I needed some new leggings and I just thought they would look really nice with one of my Jason shirts that I have so I got them end of discussion that's really it so the next thing I have to show you is a dress from Hot Topic so I will be right back 
This is the dress that I got from Hot Topic. It is called their Mesh and Buckle Strap Dress. This whole vibe up in the front, I really liked it. I liked how they had little buckles. I recently did like a Plague Doctor photo shoot in it and I thought it turned out really well. One of my favorite things about Hot Topic are their dresses and their skirts because most of them have built-in pockets to it. So I'm a huge fan of this dress. I think it looks super cute. I do think that it looks a little bit better when you do have a little belt going on with it because I do think it looks a little bit too just plain up in the front. So I think if I were to add some like little chains and stuff to it, it would look so beautiful and I would love it even more. This was $40 on their website before the sale. Hot Topic dresses are normally $30 to $40 anyways. For Hot Topic prices, this is about normal. The main body of the dress is a little hot. However, you do not stay warm in this dress. Although it is a long sleeve, since it's mesh, if there's any form of wind chill, you get really cold. It was really cold when I wore this dress outside. I had to like run. So this is definitely a like springtime dress and compared to a winter dress. What? Do you want outside? Yeah, you want to go outside? I can let you outside. No, okay. So that was it for all of the clothing items. So the next three things are all leggings slash socks. So these are the first pair of like leggings slash tights that I got, if you could even call them that, because they are very holy. <laughs> I don't even wanna try to count the number of holes in them, but they have a lot, and there's a lot of holes in this. So these are what the tights look like on. I just think they look really cool. That is like all I have to say about them. They are extremely tight when you first put them on. However, after a while, you know, it does stretch out a little bit. These were $15 on their website, which are a little bit expensive for, you know, the amount of actual coverage <laughs> that they provide. However, these are definitely like more fashion tights compared to keep warm tights. So, you know, you can't be too angry at them. I think they're also one size. So if your legs are any bigger than mine, I don't know how well these would fit you. Just of how tight they actually are. So these were from Killstar. So these are the next pair of like socks that I ended up getting. They are Killstar's Naomi socks. They were around three dollars. I actually had a pair of these socks a while ago. However, I actually lost them at the beach, which is what made me very sad. So I wanted to pick up a new pair just cause I'm a big fan of mermaids and I'm a big fan of uh, wearing black. They are a little tight at the very top of my thighs. So again, if your legs are bigger than mine, I don't know how well these would fit you. I really like these because they actually are thighs. I have very long legs so normally thigh highs are like knee highs for me. So it's very hard to find anything that actually goes up to like your actual thigh. So I just really like these. So the last pair of socks I have to show you guys are also from Killstar and they are their Zelda socks. They're almost like crew socks. So they're not quite ankle sock length, but I think they're kind of, they're crew socks. These were also $3 on their website. I just thought they were cute. And I also really wanted to get some like shorter, cute, kind of frilly socks to wear with my heels that I have that I think would look really nice with these. They have like a little pentacle on it, which is really nice. Uh, they're really soft, they're super comfortable. I am interested to see how washing these works and if this just instantly comes off. We are back. So before we get too far into this video, I just wanted to mention that I am selling some Halloween scrunchies for this year. I found a bunch of glow-in-the-dark fabrics as well as just other fabrics that I really like. So if you want to get your own Halloween scrunchie, make sure you click either the card or the first link in the description. This one's probably my favorite fabric. I love this fabric. This fabric is so cute. It's little skeleton cats. So if you like any of the scrunchies that you see on your screen right now, make sure you either click the card up in the corner or you click the first link down in the description. So I do only have a limited amount of each scrunchie this year, so as soon as it sells out, it is gone forever. Make sure you grab them while I still have them. So the first thing I'm going to show you out of the stuff that I've gotten recently is one of my most recent purchases. So unlike the first set of items, I do not have a notebook with all of my notes in it. So I will just insert all of the information on the screen for you. So this is one of the newest things that I've gotten from Hot Topic. It is a suspender skirt with little chains instead of like fabric for the suspender part. I just thought it was super cute. So the next two skirts I actually bought with hot cash. I got this 
purple o-ring skirt it is just a simple purple and black plaid um, I did get this in a small it's not very stretchy however it is super comfortable and it does have pockets which is a big plus in my eyes and then I also ended up getting this black and green plaid skirt and it did come with a little chain on it and this bright green is my favorite shade of green the next two things are both pants and I got this little blue kind of jogger type of pant. So I don't really know what these types of pants are called because I used to exclusively wear skinny jeans. They are like a little bit baggy and they kind of have, and they have these like pockets that are actually like proper pockets and not just like little indents this big. It's definitely a little faded. Like I've washed it twice and it looks a lot more faded now than it did when I first got it. And the belt is starting to get a little bit folded, but I love these pants. These pants are so cute and comfortable. Like I am a big fan of these blue pants. And the last pair of pants that I got are these purple plaid pants that come with a buckle. So originally I got these in a medium, but they were way too big for me. So I went and got them in a small. So those were all of the skirts and pants that I got. So next I'm going to be showing you guys all the tops, which is the majority of this haul. I got so many shirts. This is the first shirt that I got. This is what I actually ended up spending the gift card on. So I think I spent like six bucks on this shirt which I love. So I am a big fan of button-ups. I love button-up shirts. They're probably my favorite type of shirt to actually wear. So it is a Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas patterned button-up shirt. You're going to see a lot of button-up shirts. <laughs> like a lot of button-up shirts. So please don't judge me. I love button-ups. I think they're so cute. It is super lightweight and comfortable. I got mine in a medium because I didn't have any smalls. So it is a little big on me but that's okay. This is honestly too cute as it is and I could wear it with like oh a little black skirt and I think it would just look so cute so this is the next button-up shirt that I got this is actually one of the shirts that Hot Topic sent me so I actually did a little campaign for them for Corella which I think is super fun and they sent me this shirt and oh, I forgot the pants oh my god I can't believe I forgot the pants I didn't even think about the pants. Okay, well, I also got some pants for Corella, so I'll show you those afterwards. I really like black and white shirts. I think they look so nice. Um, a lot of my wardrobe is black and white, so this definitely fit in perfectly. I'm gonna go grab the pants real fast. I'll be right back. These are the Corella pants that they sent me. Um, They are a little bit dirty because I completely forgot that Hot Topic actually sent these to me. They are super comfortable. I love these. These are like one of the three pairs of pajama pants that like I actively wear and will wear to like the gym and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and try on the next button up that I got. This is the next button up shirt that I got, which may actually be my favorite thing that Hot Topic has ever sent me. It is their Junji Ito. Um, I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. I'm so sorry if I did. I've, I've, I'm really trying. I have a hard time pronouncing a lot of things. In case you guys don't know what it is, it is a horror manga slash horror anime. And then I also got this this fruit basket bucket hat. So it has like all the little animals on it and it's so cute. But Hot Topic sent me the shirt as well as the hat for their anime campaign that I was a part of. So this is the last button up shirt that I got. And as you guys can probably tell, I really like black and white shirts and clothing in general. Um, so this is a Friday the 13th button up shirt. I don't even feel like I need to explain this. I like horror movies and I like black and white button up shirts. So when I saw there was a Friday the 13th black and white button-up shirt, I had to get it. It is super comfortable. That's one of my favorite things about Hot Topics button-up shirts are they're normally so comfortable. Half of it just has like Friday the 13th and like little like Jason masks and like knives and stuff on it. And the other side kind of just has like a big version of his mask on it, which is pretty fun. So I ended up buying this one myself. This is technically something my boyfriend bought for me, but he got me a green striped shirt as well as a purple striped shirt. I don't really have a lot of striped shirts like this, so this is mainly to wear like underneath other shirts. It's pretty simple. It's a long green and black striped shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and try on the last thing that I got before I get into the anime stuff. 
because there is a lot of My Hero Academia merch on my floor right now that I need to put away. So this is the last thing I got and it is a Nightmare on Elm Street hoodie. So there's like a little corsetti bit on these sleeves that I really like. It fits in the theme of black and white clothing with a little bit of red on it and that is what I gravitate towards. So it's definitely a light hoodie compared to a heavier hoodie. So I can wear it early fall but I would definitely not wear this during the winter because I think I'd get really cold. But I really like it because it looks like a black and white tie-dye hoodie which is perfect because I pretty much wear tie-dye or black and white clothing so this is like a perfect mix of the two. So now that we've gotten all of the normal clothing out of the way I'm going to show you some of the My Hero Academia merch that I got because I got a lot. This is the first shirt that I got. I obviously had to get the Dobby shirt but I got this shirt. I'm going to cut it like right here and kind of turn it into a crop top so that's why I got it a little bit bigger. Um, I do wish that there was more Dobby merch. Let me just say hot topic I would be giving you so much more of my money if there was more Dobby merch. But I did get another shirt from Hot Topic, which is this Shigaraki shirt. Obviously, if I'm gonna get a Dobby shirt, I'm gonna need to get a Shigaraki shirt. But it's just, you know, a shirt with Shigaraki's face on it. So this is the Shigaraki shirt that I also got. And I got one more wearable My Hair Academia thing, which is this League of Villains hoodie. I just like it, guys. Don't judge me. Let me have my interest, please. I love big baggy hoodies. But it kind of matches my outfit. Ooh, look at me go. I don't believe I need to justify this purchase because it is clear. I mainly got this because the boys are together. I also got my Hero Academia playing cards. I, I just wanted some. Don't judge me. Stop it. I see you judging me. I don't want it here. I am a blanket person. I love blankets. If I'm home, I normally have a blanket wrapped around me because I get cold really easily. It does not matter how hot it is outside. I will bring blankets with me outside. When I was in high school, I was the person who brought blankets to school. I just like blankets. I also bring blankets to the movie theater like I am such a blanket person so I had to get a Dobby and Toga blanket because look at them so this is what it looks like it's beautiful 10 out of 10 Guys, I have an issue with My Hero Academia. I've, I've been very upfront about this. I'm not trying to hide it, but I also had to get a Mr. Izawa blanket. Look at him. So this blanket's definitely a little bit more thick than the other blanket, and that's okay. That is fine, and I'm not complaining here. And then the last thing that I got is an accessory, and it is just a little O-ring spiky choker. I just thought it was cute. It's gonna be a little weird to show you because I'm wearing all black right now, but I just thought it was cute, and I like the little spikes on it. One more thing. And then I also got this Bakugo energy drink to save because again, I have an issue with My Hero Academia and who doesn't want a Bakugo energy drink? Not even to drink. What flavor is this? I bet it's orange flavor. Maybe one day I will open this bad boy up and see what flavor it is. So that is it for today's video, guys. If you got to the end of it, thank you so much for watching the entire video. I know it was a long one. So comment down what your favorite shirt was what your favorite bottoms were and also what your favorite accessory was because I'm curious. So I think my favorite shirt was either the Sally or the Junji, Junji Ito shirt. My favorite pair of pants were the blue like tie-dye cargo type of pants. And then my favorite accessory was the little like Nightmare Before Christmas hat that I showed you in the first haul. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I will leave playlists for other videos for you to watch right here. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button right up there. Like I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, don't forget to check out my bake cartel to grab some Halloween scrunchies. You can either click the card or the first link in the description below. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and I'll see y'all later. Bye!